In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the AliExpress Dropshipping Center to find potential six and seven figure winning products to sell on your guys' Shopify dropshipping store. What's going on guys, Yash here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope each and every single one of you guys is absolutely having a great week and a great day. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into another video. If you guys already have not, please do make sure you drop a huge like on this video. Go down there and absolutely smash that like button. And while you're at it, make sure you guys are also subscribed to the channel with your post notification bell turned on. Join the family and stay updated with all new content. If you guys already did not notice or have not noticed, I actually got a new ring light. So, you know, right here, like my entire face and just the background is probably a little bit more brighter, a little bit more vibrant. So hope that actually makes a little bit of a difference. I'm going to be coming out with some great content, I'm definitely upgrading the content on this channel, guys. So definitely stay tuned for the coming few months for some amazing e-commerce dropshipping content. So to cut to the chase, AliExpress has basically this new updated dropshipping center. You can utilize it to find and I potential winning products to sell. I'm gonna get straight into the video and show you guys how you can actually utilize the AliExpress dropshipping center for free to eye these products down. Let's jump straight into the video. So guys, first and foremost, what you guys have to do is obviously go to AliExpress.com. After you go to AliExpress.com, most likely if you're already drop shipping, you do have an AliExpress account. So what you need to do is go on the right and basically just sign into your account. As it says here, hi Yash. So we are now into my account. What you need to do is go to where it says account and click on it right there wait for it to load so after you click that and you go to actually your account dashboard it should basically say drop shipping center right here now just a quick note if you have a very new fresh aliexpress account without any orders you may or may not have this drop shipping center feature right here if you guys do not there's no need to worry all you need to do is literally go to google or any web browser and type in AliExpress Dropshipping Center into the search bar and click on this right here and it should take you to the same page. After you have that, let's click on Dropshipping Center right here. And just a quick note, I'm literally going to be doing this as raw as possible. Like I literally want to have you guys see the exact process as to how to actually use this. This is just a very quick segment of my entire product research and validation strategy, right? This is not the sole strategy or tactic I use to find potential winning and untapped products. If you want to take a look at my full untapped strategy that I use to find potential products in terms of researching and validating, click on that link right there and it should take you to that video. Nonetheless, I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys because this is absolutely something new. The dropshipping center has existed for some while now. However, this is sort of a new take AliExpress has taken on it, so I figured I share it with you guys as a segment of one of my product research and validation strategies. Cool guys, after what you wanna do is go right here where it says find products, where it says step one. So now we're on the find products to sell page. So just another quick note, I don't really touch anything up here when it comes to search by image or sponsored products. I keep it on hot selling, um, all products right here. Um, so unless you're selling something very, very specific in a specific niche or a type of product, then you can go down here and actually pick a category, but I just usually leave it simple and blank. Shift from, leave it blank. Ship to, just keep it default United States. Delivery time, price, min, max. Uh, none of these options I really touch as well. Number one main thing I do first and foremost, guys, is I come right here and I basically click orders, right? So what this will do is this will basically rank all the items by the number of orders, right? So you can see right here, it starts at 32,000 orders and then it goes down, 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 obviously in order. So what I wanna do, and this is kind of my rule of thumb, is I wanna keep two things in mind, right? I wanna keep oh, the overall sales performance in mind, and I also wanna keep the orders number in mind as well. So I usually like to look at products that have about 5,000 orders or less, okay? The reason why I don't want like 15, 20, 30,000 orders in a specific product is because then there's not as much room 
to get into with that product, right? There's not as many marketing angles or different focuses you can take with that product because if you go ahead and advertise it, at the end of the day, any paid advertising platform is a bidding war, right? So you don't want like hundreds and hundreds of people selling a specific product, then there's not much room for you to actually get in and for you actually to scale that product. So with that being said, let's try to find products that are about 5,000 orders or less. So let's just go to like page 13. So we don't have to manually go to every single page. Okay, this seems like it's perfect. Okay, so let's actually go to page 12. Okay. This starts around at 5,000. So what I want to do basically after is just scroll on the left. And if there's anything that you see is pretty interesting, again, just kind of using your drop shipping eye, right? Something that has a wow factor, something that just seems super interesting. We obviously want to click on it. This is a very, very raw take. So you can actually see what I'm exactly doing. Okay. So let's go with something like this, this cable organizer right here. Okay. I've actually seen this. I think a few weeks ago, um, you can also see that the sales performance of it is really, really good. It's under 5,000 orders, which means like it's not super saturated and super competitive. However, it does have demand and we will also cross validate this in just a little bit too. What we want to do first and foremost is we want to go to analyze, right? When we go to analyze, it'll actually help us see how this product is actually doing. So we can see that it's, you know, it's starting really strong. And this is again, the average number of orders, like the sales volume. And then recently it's been going up and up and up and up and up. And then it's been going down recently, right? So this is kind of telling us two different things. What we want to do is not only rely on this. See, if this was going something like this, it's going down and then it would curve up from here and go straight up. That would be a different thing, right? We don't really have to cross validate too much because the sales volume graph really tells us what's going on. But with this, there's a little bit of confusion. So what we do after is we cross validate and I will always, always, always cross validate my product. So let's just duplicate this tab right here. And what we want to do is we want to basically keep in mind of this product, right? It's basically a cable organizer. So we come right here. And what we do now is we actually search in cable organizer. Okay. So now we are cross validating. We see that it has demand, but at the same time, the sales volume is not really supporting the demand as well. Right. Or even maybe, but we just can't really go by one supplier or one single category of that product. So what we do is we typed in cable organizer. Now we basically go to order. So it will rank everything from the top to the bottom, right? So obviously we clicked on this right here. This is another one right here. Um, you can see it has like 3,400 orders. Um, you can obviously see that this product is in demand because there's a good amount of suppliers actually selling it. Um, some are selling like different variations of it. So let's go to this one right here. Let's just go to analyze for this one. This one's telling us something a little bit different. Okay, so this one's basically kind of pretty steady. I mean, what I typically look for guys is I like to have the bar above 50 most times. Okay, and this is definitely going over and over and over. Going back to the last one, it really hasn't, even though it's going down, gone under like the 50 mark. It's like right in the middle, we could say, right? It's right underneath the middle. You can say that it's still at 50. It actually shows right here. So we want that to at least stay above 50 for a few days in a row, right? So that's why we always, always, always want to cross validate as well. And this actually makes a lot of sense, guys. A lot of people are working from home, right? I think Google themselves are making their employees work from home till like 2021. More than that, a lot of different organizations, a lot of different schools and stuff like that are asking kids to be at home as well, which means more electronics. You know, people don't want to be cluttered up. People want to be organized. So again, using your market intuition and market logic, this makes a lot of sense as well when it comes to actually testing a product like this. It actually may have a lot of potential due to the nature of people's buying habits right now. And more than that, due to the situation that we are in right now. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's try to look for another product that really, really, really catches our eye. So we're scrolling, we're scrolling, we're scrolling, go to 14. 
what else do we see that's really interesting? I'm seeing a whole bunch of like sunglasses, a whole bunch of AirPods, earbuds, screen protectors, stuff like that. You want to stay away from stuff like that, guys, right? It's all about just patience. It's really all about just looking. That's why I'm really kind of recording this in real time, right? I want you guys to see kind of what's going on. Okay, so this is pretty interesting, okay? Uh, this explosive cat double bowl. It's basically for cat owners to put like water in foods and give it to their cat, okay? So you can see again, it's under 5,000 orders. You can do this page after page after page. Like you should definitely be devoting at least minimum a few hours a week to product research and validation. That's a very important skill when it comes to Shopify dropshipping, right? That's a skill that you need to strengthen over time. And the more you're exposed to the market, the better you will absolutely get at it. So again, that's just a little FYI and a little note for myself. You can see that the sales performance is pretty good for this. Let's go to analyze. Wow. Okay, cool. So again, this has been pretty staggering. Uh, however, we can see at the end, um, it's gone below 50 a few times. I won't lie, but it still hasn't gone significantly below 50. And then again, it's starting to go back up over here to almost 100 orders a day. What we want to do is we want to cross validate this product again. Let's open up another browser right here. All right, so let's search double cat bowl. Now, by the way, guys, if you're like validating your product, which you absolutely should with other suppliers and rankings, if you see for like two to four of them, the overall graph in terms of the number of orders is going down on a day-to-day -day basis, like there's not really an incline, then that's a bad example, right? Just because a product has like three to 4,000 orders, you know, that always doesn't mean that it is a good sign, right? We never just want to base our decision based on one resource or one metric or just kind of one stance in general, right? We always want to cross-validate. If you recognize a downwards pattern on a specific trend, you know, with three or four different suppliers and rankings and stuff like that, and if you also see that the sales performance is like, you know, just average or below average, you know, then that is not absolutely a good sign too. So again, that is just an FYI. Be very aggressive and be very strict when it comes to researching and validating products. We searched up double cat bowl. What we want to do after is go by the number of orders. So more than likely, our top one is probably going to be the one actually that we saw. And okay, so this one has 829. It does cost a little bit higher. Uh, which is okay. So let's take a look at this one. Let's analyze this. And you can also see that the sales performance are averaging between like um, good and average, which is again, not so much of a bad thing, right? So here it is giving us a downwards trend, guys. Okay, here it is giving us a downwards trend. So this is the first chart. This is the second chart. See how much different it really is. Let's go to another one. Let's go to this one. Let's analyze this one. Again, I usually go to like three or four different suppliers and rankings, and then I come up with my decision. So again, here it has spiked up, but it is going down and down and down um, as well. So let's check one more. Let's go to one right here since the sales performance is average. Here it's going a little bit up. Okay, it's going a little bit up over here. However, I think it is still not consistently performing well. We want products that are consistently performing well. So what you can actually do is note this product down on a piece of paper or on your laptop, however you really feel comfortable. And what you can do is you can come back to it after two or three days, right? See how it's performing then. Are you getting overall the same amount of metrics, the same type and pattern of metrics, or is it simply going on an upwards trend? It really could, right? You don't know how the marketplace is performing on a week to week and daily basis. Write products down that you're a little bit unsure of that seem promising but at the same time they don't really seem that promising because again we're seeing what we are seeing here right it's kind of unclear as to how this product is performing we can say that it's not like super super on a downwards trend we can see that in some charts it is an upwards trend but at the same time it's still a little bit unclear so we don't want to make a decision right away save it come back to it two or three days after and perform the same analysis and see how the product is performing then
So that being said, you can literally repeat this process. It's all about rinse and repeating. So go out there, go use this dropshipping center. It's completely free on AliExpress if you have an account anywhere in the world. You don't even have to live in just the US, I believe. So go out there, strengthen your product research and validation. This is a great segment or a great step to just take in terms of finding potential winning products. Practice it, rinse and repeat, like I said. If you have any questions, any thoughts, any concerns, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I always make sure to reply to each and every single one of you guys. I hope this was helpful and I hope this was informative to you guys. Definitely let me know if you wanna see some of these more short put together videos as well, where I go straight to the point and where I actually show you on how I'm conducting analysis, research and stuff like that on my end. Thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. And with that being said, I will check you guys out soon. Peace.